Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video in which I will show you how to implement the scrollable lists in Jitbag Compose. So just to display items uh, that can be scrolled vertically or horizontally. And in Jitbag Compose, there are different ways of doing that. I'm going to show you all of these ways. So firstly, you can basically do that with any, uh, any layout like column or row. Let's see how to do that. So we can say column. Let's say here you have a list. So let's just fake that and create let's say this list and we call for each and now for each item in this list you just want to display it in a text so you just say text you pass yeah let's just pass item and we pass the number of that item and we can pass font size to yeah 16 sp and let's also give it a padding And from all sides, I just want to give it like 16 dB. Let's format that and let's launch the app to show you what we're going to get. Okay, as you can see now, here are the items and I'm trying to scroll, but nothing works. And that's that default behavior of a column. So to make these items scrollable, you just need to add a simple modifier here. And you either have vertical scroll or horizontal scroll. We want to make this vertical scroll. Now here we can pass the state of the scrolling. So this state is just used to maybe yeah, control the scrolling or listen to the scrolling or you can also use it to scroll to a specific item. So we can just create it into a variable here or you can pass it directly in here. But yeah, if you want to just control the scrolling or do some actions, you can just put it into a variable like that. Now if you launch the app, we should be able to scroll these items in this column. So, as you can see, here you go, we're scrolling these items. And if this was a row, so you can just, let's just do a row here. And let's say this time you want to scroll horizontally. Yeah, let's pass the same state. And now, this is going to be a row and we can scroll it horizontally. And as you can see, here is the row. So let's see what you can do with this state. So let's type state dot... Here, as you can see, you can get the max values that so that would be the value of the last item in this scrollable row. And you have this scroll to. So this basically can scroll to a specific item here. You need just to pass the, the index and scroll by. You can scroll by some offset. Um, you also have, yeah, you have these booleans here to, ter to determine if you can scroll or not. So this is what you can do with the scroll state. Okay, now there is one issue with this way, which is the performance. Because if you have, because if you have a large list, that means that we're gonna render all the items inside the scrollable row all together, all at once. So if you have here one million, yeah, let's say one, two, three, one, two, three, and if we launch the app now, it might be a little bit uh, slow. Let's see. Yeah, as you can see, it's taken long time to show these items. Why? because we just display them all together and yeah we even got a crash and the more efficient way is using lazy so if you're familiar with recycle review from the view system in android uh it means like you just load items that fit the screen and when you scroll you load more items now let's see how to create a lazy column so lazy column so that way you can just create a scrollable column but that loads its item lazily so you have different options so you can just display one item and here you can put any composable function you want let's delete that you can say items if you have a list so in our case just want to pass yeah let's pass one million so one two three one two three and we just want to pass the same thing and now if we launch this uh we won't get any crash and everything will work as you can see it was very fast so you can just use these items here again you pass your list here you get a reference of your object so in our case an integer and yeah you can just use that object to display its content we also have items indexed so that will basically give you two values here it will give you the index and it will give you the value and here we actually need to pass a list so let's just say let's just create a list and here you can get the index and the value this time 
and here you can replace this it with value or if you want to use this index you can use it okay now let's see what we can pass to this lazy column so starting with the modifier you can just pass modifier.fill max size and you can also pass a state here so this time it's called lazy list state you can say state equals to remember lazy list state and you can pass that in here uh, we can pass content padding so so this is basically used to yeah add padding to the content not to the container so not to the lazy column but to the content inside this lazy column let's see that so you can say padding values let's add it from the top and let's give it 50 db if we launch the app now you will see that there is a padding here but you can still scroll the items in this area as you can see because this padding is added to the items not to the container and not to this lazy column and we also have reverse layout so that we yeah, will reverse your list this is could be useful in chatting apps so you just want to start the messages from the bottom like that and you also have vertical arrangement so that is just like a normal column you can pass here arrangement dot center for example so this will basically center the items vertically inside this lazy column um, you can also pass horizontal alignment so if you give this alignment end that means our text should show at the end here as you can see and we also have fling behavior so this just uh, yeah a way to control how yeah how the scrolling this way uh, there's also which is called the fling behavior uh, it's hard to explain what that does but you know when you have a pager like a pager and you uh, you scroll between the pages in that pager if you like scroll a half of a page then it either scroll the uh, the entire page or reverse it so this fling behavior this is what it does but there's no way to change that you just need to implement an object of this interface we don't need that I don't think it's useful in lazy column user scroll enable you can enable or disable the scrolling of this list so if we pass false that means we can scroll it pass true means we can scroll it and same thing we have with lazy column we also have lazy wall so that display yeah items so that display items in a row let's see that as you can see and this and this is more efficient than a normal row because again we display this item lazily and same thing we had we can just pass the same thing for this lazy row and two more things is a staggered lazy or what is called i think uh, lazy staggered yeah lazy vertical staggered grid let's delete this now and let's see what we can pass in here so we can pass the columns so this is used to display a staggered vertical list so here you pass the number of columns you want to show in in this list um, you can either pass a fixed value or a width for the items in that column I will, I will explain that so let's just pass staggered grid sales here you can pass fixed so you can pass three for example that means we're gonna have three columns and now let's have our items just the same as the normal lazy column let's pass 1000 item and here we want to just show him in a text and let's see that as you can see we have three columns and yeah because we passed three in here and now what we also have is adaptive so here you pass the minimum size of each column and if there is enough space it will basically create a new column let's see let's say um, we, we, we make this 100 db I don't know how many columns are gonna be in there but yeah one two three four uh, the space here this area from here to here is 100 db from 1 to 2 is 100 db and from 2 to 3 100 db and from 3 to the end of the screen 100 db I hope you got the idea there's also fixed size I think this one is a new so the difference here you just pass the a fixed size for these items but with adaptive you pass the minimum size so that's the difference and if the items need more size yeah 
it could be changed because it's called adaptive and same thing we also have lazy horizontal staggered grid so as you know we just can display a staggered row so here we pass rows and let's say staggered grid cells let's just pass fixed pass three in here and as you can see we have three rows like that so yeah this is why you need to use this staggered grid Okay guys, so that was all for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoying my Jitbao Composer playlist. If so, then click on like, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. And I hopefully see you in the next video.